This video will show you how to set a static IP address on Ubuntu Server 24. We'll cover configuring IP addresses, default gateways, and name servers within the NetPlan configuration file. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to confidently manage your server's network settings. To get started, I have an Ubuntu server with one Ethernet interface named ENS33. Right now, it's getting its IP address from the DHCP server. What we're going to do is configure the ENS33 interface with a static IP address of 192.168.1.100 and set the default gateway to 192.168.1.1. We'll also configure the DNS servers to use Google DNS. We'll add these configurations to the NetPlan configuration file. The file is located in the ETC NetPlan directory. In this directory, you'll find a file with a YAML extension. Here, it's named 50cloudinit.yaml, but yours could be different depending on the installer you used. The NetPlan file uses YAML format. It uses key value pairs to define the network interface settings. Here, network is the top key, under which we have two subkeys called ethernets and version. Wired network interfaces will go under the ethernet section. You can see ENS33 already there, and it is configured to receive IP addresses from the DHCP server. The most important thing here is the indentation. All subkeys should align properly under their parent keys. Incorrect indentation can cause errors, so make sure each level is correctly spaced. We'll now configure our network interface. First, we'll disable DHCP by setting DHCP4 to false. Then we'll add a new key called addresses to specify our static IP address. In the addresses field, we will specify the IP address and the subnet mask inside square brackets. You can add multiple IP addresses separated by commas. Also, it is not specific to IPv4. You can add IPv6 addresses here, but for clarity, we can add additional IP addresses in a new line. Now, let's add the default gateway. To do this, we need to add a default route under a new key called routes. Under routes, we add a list of routes. Each route should start with a dash, followed by a space, then two, and then specify the destination. Since we're configuring the default gateway, the destination should be default. On a new line, add the keyword via to specify the IPv4 gateway. Same way, you can also add the IPv6 default gateway using the two and via keys for IPv6 addresses. Now let's add the DNS servers. To do this, create a new subkey called name servers under your interface. Then add a new subkey called addresses and specify a list of DNS servers you want. You can include both IPv4 and IPv6 DNS servers here. Okay, we have configured the settings we need. Now let's save the file and apply changes. To make these changes take effect, we need to run the netplan apply command. Keep in mind, if you're connected to the server via SSH, this command will cause your connection to drop because you're changing the IP address. Make sure you've set the correct IP settings to avoid losing access to the server. As expected, our SSH connection has been dropped due to the IP address change. Let's reestablish the connection using the new IP address. Okay, I was able to connect using the static IP address I configured. The IP address command shows that the new static IP addresses have been applied to the ENS33 interface. To verify if the default gateway is set correctly, run the command IP route show. Look for a line that starts with default via followed by your gateway IP address. This confirms that your default route is configured. Also, don't forget to check the name servers. The resolve CTL command will show which DNS name servers your server is currently pointing to. So everything looks fine. Now let's ping an internet domain name to confirm. I have added another network interface to this computer, and it is named as ENS37. 
but the interface does not have any IP address other than the link local IPv6 address because it is not configured in the NetPlan file. So we'll add the necessary configuration to this interface as well. What we need to do is create a new key under the Ethernet section with the interface name, then add the necessary settings. For this example, we'll configure ENS37 to receive an IP address from the DHCP server. Let's save the file and run the netplan apply command. Then just wait a few seconds and check the IP settings with the IP address command. One last thing I want to mention is that you only add wired interfaces under the Ethernet section. For Wi-Fi networks, you need to create a key called Wi-Fi's under the network section. Then under Wi-Fi's, create a key with the name of the interface and add the IP settings. Here is what a typical wireless interface setting looks like. All right, that brings us to the end of this video on how to set static IP addresses in Ubuntu Server 24. In the next video, we will learn how to add persistent routes in Ubuntu 24. Thank you for watching.